Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to see how we can deploy our Python app over Azure. Okay, so let's get started. I have created a sample app over here. Uh, I have used fast API over here. You can deploy any apps which you want like Flask, uh, Django, fast API or whatever you are using. So for this the demo purpose, I have written a sample code over here, uh, which is getting, uh, you know, a single route, get route, and it will be returning a simple message, hello world. Okay, so in local it is working very fine. Uh, let's just test it. Uvicon app app, uh, we will run it using this command. Okay, so you guys can see it is running and it says Uvicon running on this uh, particular you know a uh, route that is your local host so let's just click on it okay so here you guys can see i'm returning a hello world over this particular route right so this is just the basic app we will be uh, learning how to deploy it over azure okay so without wasting time let's get back to um azure uh, open your azure portal over here uh click on create a resource uh, click on web app you guys can click on create like this so click on create and here will be your subscription name uh, whatever your name is you can select for this demo purpose I will be using demo and here I can give a name for example a python sample app next you have to select over here publish which will be using code runtime stack will be your python version whatever you are using so for me it's uh, python 3.11 operating system will be linux and reason you can choose uh, whatever is nearer or closest to you so for me right now i will be making it default as east us next option we have pricing plans so i have already created a free pricing plan over here you guys can click on create new and then uh, you know create your own free uh, resource okay other than that you don't need to do anything just click on uh, just click on review and create click on create So see your deployment is in progress and it will be taking some time whatever reason you have chosen again according to your internet speed and all. So once it, it will be deployed you will be getting a uh, notification over there that your resource is deployed successfully. So just wait for like uh, 3 to 4 minutes. Okay see so your resource is done you just need to click on go to resource. So successfully our first step is completed your you know web app is created where we will be deploying our python app. Now coming back to the next step which is deployment of the code over the github. So in this tutorial we are gonna use github for the deployment to the azure. So first we will push our code over github and then we will connect our github to the azure so that uh, you know uh, it can run a continuous deployment pipeline over there and we can deploy our code over Azure easily. So the easiest way is using the GitHub, right? Which I personally follow along. So let's just push our code. Let me see my Git status first. So these are the basic commands which I'm writing over here. If you don't know anything about Git, you guys just copy and paste these commands. So first command is Git status, right? Next command will be Git add dot which will basically add your all files over git okay and see right now these files are in the red color right now if i check my git status again so these are in green so basically these are added over the git but on the local right now right to pushing it over the remote we have to uh, write some more commands so third command is nothing but git commit 
git commit hyphen m and just write any message so i'm writing initial we will be checking our status again no more files over there it says your branch is ahead of your origin by one commit so if it is ahead we have to move it uh, over to the remote so git push origin okay so we have successfully written our all files over the git which is my you know repository python sample app if i see my status now so it says your branch is up to date okay so let's just get back to git and i will show you my code over there so this is my repository which is having nothing but readme file right now just refresh the page and see our all files are here which i have uh, created just one minute ago i have pushed one minute ago right so requirement.txt is there app.py is there and readme.md was already okay so guys you just need to ensure that your uh, you know whatever python versions module versions you are using it should be entered in your requirements.txt file this file is really important because azure gets to know what module you guys need and it will install automatically over the cloud to run your app so requirement.txt is the you know very important file and next we have that app.py which is our main file which is having all the routes right okay successfully our second step is done first was creating the web app over azure secondly we have uh, pushed our code over to the github now third step we will be connecting our git repository with the azure so that they can uh, you know communicate with each other and share the code for that let's just go back to our azure portal and to our python sample app over there you will be seeing a seeing a uh, option over there see uh, in the deployment tab go to deployment center now for the source code we have our source code over github so choose github okay now next step is very important please listen this uh, carefully you have to change your provider over there so choose app service build service if you know how to you know deploy over uh, using github actions you can choose that too but this is the easiest and very you know very uh, for a beginner it is very easiest to create uh, using this way so build provider should be app service and build service click on okay now if you are getting something like this uh, scm basing authentication is disabled so just click over this error basically when you create your uh, you know web app you need to on your scm so just this is our scm basing authentication click on on and click on save okay so it is done let's get back if you uh, you know once you on your scm authentication you will not be getting error again so again we will be clicking on github we will change over provider app service build service click on okay now next you will be seeing github over there you need to connect to your account and repository uh, through which you have in which you have your code right so click on select organization my uh, account is already signed in over azure so i will be clicking over okay and you need to connect your github account to the azure and for that you have some basic steps so you know you will be uh, providing your username and password and then login so just complete that they these are so simple steps so i have already signed in now click on repository so what repository we are we have just now created is python sample app okay python sample app is our repository and our branch is main obviously so once you have done all this correctly 
please recheck your change provider and everything click on save it will take some time once it is done see now it's done what we can do is uh, you guys can click over logs or it you know it will be showing that if you already have something over there or not now next step go to the configuration tab in the configuration tab you are having a startup command over there right so basically this is the command azure will be using to you know to start your application so similarly when we use a command over there uvcon right we need uvcon command to run the server similarly azure need a command to run the server or your application so let me write, write down that command for you so that command is uvcon app app hyphen hyphen host 0.0.0, .0 hyphen hyphen port and 8000 you can give any port according to you so i will be providing this command in the description box you just copy and paste or write it down so once it is done click on save continue okay this is done this was basically our last step to do now come back to the deployment center again we will check that if the code is deployed or not okay so see uh, this has been done automatically using github commit commit author is me and success is active status you can see is success which is active so how can i see my application now if it is success and running how can i see it so go to the overview on the overview page you can see uh, there is a link default domain right this link where your app is currently running so click on this link default domain yes and you guys can see this is running over azure python sample app dot azure website dot net this is my website link and i am getting hello world over my get route right so whatever route or website you are having you will be getting it over here so this was so easy and beginner friendly if you guys have any doubt over this video you guys can comment down i will be replying over it or you guys can uh, also dm me over instagram i will be providing my profile link down to the description so if you guys like this video and find it easy and you have successfully done your deployment please like my video and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you so much guys for watching my video